Welcome back to the Hearthstone Global Games. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. My internet's usually rock solid. Yeah? Okay. Am I back? Sorry about that. A uh, question is Panel Loop the best option if you have different items and you want to make a specific style of seam on all their in their polygraph border? Is there a way to attain the seam without separating the item in many pieces with a back face? Um, panel loops is an okay option. Um, sometimes I don't have as much control as I'd like, but I do use it. Um, is there a way to obtain the scene without... So yeah, yeah, you can. So, in fact, let's say uh, we got this and we want to do, like, put some clothing on him. So maybe we want to put, like, uh, a neck piece with some padding on it just for, like, some armor. So what you can, what you can do is we can duplicate this guy off. I'm going to hit Control w make this all one polygroup here. Hold down Control shift We're going to go into Trim Curve. I'm going to go ahead and trim his head off. And uh, I'll go ahead and trim down here. So we just have this little piece right here. Now at this point, I can go in here to uh, do you go to your deformation menu, the tool menu, polish by features. And if you do that, it'll go ahead and keep these nice and crispy and then smooth this stuff out. You can also do open circle and polish that as well. Um, if you also want, we can hold down control shift, isolate this part, and then do delete hidden, and then go to your geometry Z remesher. Just take a data size down to zero, hit Z remesher. And then we can just, oh, let's hit half. And then we can just keep Z remeshing this. Now, sometimes it might do this type of thing. Let's go ahead and grab our weld points. Uh, let's do this. Let's go into Z modeler here and let's do bridge, not bridge two points, stitch two points. So we'll go here to here, here to here. And let's just, you know, that didn't really work very well. Let's do a. Right down the middle. Hit uh, go out of X symmetry here. We're going to stitch. And this is your Z modeler brush, BZM. We're going to take this and we're going to move it over and then we'll just do a quick geometry modified topology mirror and weld and then turn X back on. So now this way, if you keep doing Z remesh half and like so, and then you can go through here if you want and do like a polygroup poly loop and then just make these separate polygroups, and I'm just doing every other one. Kind of depends on how thick you want these ribs, like so. Now at this point, you can go down here and you can do geometry, edge loop, you crank up that thickness, you can do, you can keep polish on, and now you can do polygroups like this, and of course this does give you the double-sided control shift A, you can grab it. Um, however, you can also go through here, and if you turn off double, and do panel loops, it'll just do one sided. Of course, uh, you're going to have thin meshes. I don't really like that. So, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go up here to cap. Let's do um, close convex hole and we'll just cap the top and we'll cap the bottom. And I want these to have the same polygroup as these. So, I'm going to hold down control. Sh let's do, let's undo that. Because that's going to get fused. I'm going to go ahead and close. I'm going to tap alt to get make sure I get a new polygroup. I'm going to grab all of these polygroups, hit Control w grab all of these polygroups here. You know, with both these showing, let's just do an auto groups, and that's under your polygroup menu. So now that I have that, it's nice and capped. If I go through here and I do a panel loops, uh, smooth, or this polish is going to really polish my objects. If I turn that off, that won't polish them. So now with this, with double off, and you hold down Shift and Smooth, these will all be stuck together. If we have double on, all of these will be separate, control shift A. So there you go. And then we'll do control shift. And there you go. So that way, let's see if we're back here. Cool, okay, so I assume I'm, okay, I am still going, good. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that internet. I hope it's not having Facebook open or something weird, but I can't imagine. Um, so anyway, that would be a way to use panel loops. And of course, I did Z remesh because I like having nice clean geometry in case I need to go in here and do like inset polygroup all region. And I want to like inset these and then Q mesh polygroup island and then like pull this in maybe or just pull this in with Z remesher and then hit D for dynamic, you know, and have, you know, go through and sculpt even or model even more. But if I take this undo slider, we go all the way back to where we just had our Dynamesh stuff. You can work 
you don't have to work that clean. You can actually just take this one here, like so, and you can just go through here, and like we were doing, you can slice, and slice, and slice, and then you can go through here and do your whole geometry, panel loops, here, and uh, we can just keep that. Uh, oh, let's turn that polish back on. That polish really helps when you're working with not so desirable geometry to get you a usable result. So you can just, if you're just doing concepty stuff, you can do that. And then that can be kind of like a padding shell or something like that that you can build on top of. So that would be that. Let me, let's see, disconnect. Okay, I should be configured here. Facebook is up and running, sorry. Not Pav Mike, that's me, Pixel Logic. Trying to make sure everything's showing up here. Because you have the stream cut out. I don't know if I'm still getting the chat. I guess we'll find out. Okay. So, uh, anyway, we got our guy here, or girl. Uh, it looks pretty masculine to me. So, again, we're just going through here. And we're just going to carve in where these, you know, just putting in some landmarks here. Yeah, my restream is not picking up. Twitch chat. Let me restart it. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me re re log here. Ugh. All right, let's do this. Disconnect, 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 connect. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay, I can. Yes, I got you. Okay, we're back. <sighs> Sorry about that. Alrighty. So, we're getting some landmarks in here. If I missed anything, it's the this chat was being a goober. So, Putting our landmarks in here, we've got our collarbone, goes to his acromion process, and obviously he's of humanoid descent. So we're going to put our uh, little scapula ridge, scapula ridge in here, it goes to acromion process, and we'll go through here. And now we've got some traps in here. And of course, you can, you know, you're building up here, we can put a little C7 in there, kind of bump that out a little bit. And uh, we can start adding in maybe some surface detail. There's some surface um, properties. What is going on here? And uh, we can start adding in maybe some surface detail. There's some surface um, properties. Facebook, what is going on here? Um, so question, do you have a list of the brush hotkeys you use? I'm trying to kill and, uh, that stream here. Okay, uh, yeah, I do. So in fact, if you go to either my Gumroad page or my Cube Brush page, I'm not trying to sell you on anything, this is all free. Scroll all the way down and to the intro to ZBrush files, then in here, you can download my custom interface, and my my custom hotkeys are included with that. Also, all I need to do, if you, you know, I can copy paste this to you guys if you want, so, or you can just look at it here, because they're not that, um, that or no, there's nothing special about them, but I go to uh, ZBrush data, Z startup hotkeys, and there's a little hotkeys.txt in here. These are my hotkeys, so Alt S for standard brush, um, alt C for clay, clay tubes, Damien standard, alt D, inflate, alt I, pinch, alt Y. So these are my cot keys here uh, that you can check out. I guess I can clay tubes, Damien standard, alt D, inflate, alt I, pinch, alt Y. All right, Facebook is being goofy. Cool. All right, so uh, we're going to go through here. And again, we're talking about, you know, just doing some anatomy sculpting and also uh, not just like ecorche or anything, you can go through here and you can start putting in some landmarks. You can start dictating like, you know, the back of the head's going to have a little bit of wrinkle, so a little bit more surface anatomy here. And we can maybe have a little bit of fun this, you know, pull out like, uh, you know, when your jaw, your jawbone comes down this way. And then underneath here, you'll have a little bit of uh, build up here. And you can give him like maybe a frilly neck here, 
or depending on you know, what type of animal you're trying to make here. You can go through here and again just look at good reference and try to come up with something interesting. So you can go through here, we'll pull this back a little bit so we can make big move changes. And we're not doing anything refined, we're not like zero meshing this just yet. It's more of just kind of getting our ideas out. Let's pull out like a little bit of that under chest plate here. And go in here with our Damien standard, even our clip brush at that point. We'll go ahead and just carve this in just a little bit. Like so. So uh, yeah, we can go through here. And we've already got his traps. And then in here we can have his scapula. Scapular muscles anyways. His infraspinatus. And his terrace major, terrace minor, all that good stuff. And then his little delts like we were talking about here. Here, here, here. Overlapping. So we got a little little kind of block in here. Now for the head, uh, this can anything can go, right? So we can just do like, oh, a humanoid head, or we can do like maybe a spider head, or we can do um, something bizarre, you know, put his eyes down here and his mouth up here or something like that. So um, hey, if you wanted to do a little more humanoid, we'll start humanoid and then we'll get crazy. So we'll just do, you know, halfway down the head. Here is your eye line here. So if you have your eye line, and again, this is like sketching, but in three dimensions. So if you, I mean, we can turn perspective back on. Uh, so if you're ever doing this and you want to just draw over it, this is a good way to start. You know, we're dictating the draft of the face here. So it's going, you know, you top down, your face is kind of going backwards. And this is pretty exaggerated. That's okay. And uh, that's why aliens are so fun to sculpt in ZBrush and why everybody does them is because there's no wrong answers. So <laughs> uh, we can go through here. And then from the side view here, we have our brow ridge. So we can say, give me, give me a little more of a brow ridge here. And then, uh, you know, feminine foreheads tend to be a little bit more, you know, up and rounded with a very flat brow ridge. Uh, male heads can tend to be a little bit more backward, like lean back a little bit and then coming through here and uh, accentuating that brow ridge, really digging those eyes in deep. Um, halfway between, so there's your eye line down the middle and also the eye line matches up with the back, the occipital protuberance of your skull there. So that's where your traps are gonna attach. And uh, you know, halfway down the side here is where your ears are gonna go. So your ears would be kind of here and then your jaw line goes down this way. So brow to chin, halfway is about your nose here, and then in between here, your lip, your upper lip, well, your lip line is going to favor a little bit higher than that, and then you're really like in between the bottom of the nose here, and the chin would be the lower lip line, like so. So again, the mouth is one of those things you're going to want to make sure it curves around the face here, so you can kind of punch these in a little bit. And again, we're working loose. This is literally like if we were doing a sketch little napkin sketch, um, go through here, here's the, so there's a step down, so you got the brow that steps back to the upper eyelid, steps back to the lower eyelid, steps back to the uh, cheekbone here. And then over here you're going to have um, the labial folds on either side of the face, and then the mouth, all that good stuff. So again, we're just kind of blocking something out here. And, you know, we blocked out a human face, so not really super alien, but we can play around with this a little bit. Once you have it, you can start playing around proportions and kind of have a little bit of fun with this. You can maybe dig in those ridge lines here. And again, depending on the kind of type of character you're making, if you want to accentuate the masculinity of it, and again, we're just talking in very, very general terms here. Um, you can really accentuate that brow ridge, really deep set those eyes, give them like a little bruiser nose, little um, cauliflower ear, you know, it's kind of like we're making a boxer alien. And again, it's just a start, you know, you're not, you're not, we're not trying to make a humanoid alien. You can also go borrow body parts, BI brush insert, and we'll go through here and we'll just grab an ear, you can just grab this ear. And then now, yeah, he's he's a he's a boxer style dude, and we'll go in here and we'll say we can scale these up. But you're gonna notice it's gonna scale away and towards. Make sure you're trying an L sim. That'll be your local axis here, and then you can rotate this out and do whatever you need to uh, to make that work. Um, also, you can go in here and give them a little Spock ears. There also might be eye brush insert tune. 
There might be some stuff in here we can steal, borrow, base here, giant ear, there's ears in there. Also, another one I like, hit the comma key, go to your brushes, excuse me. Insert IMM, you got the dragon brush in here. So you can sometimes go grab uh, cool things in here, and they don't even have to be, you know, leg assembly or a tooth, you can grab a tooth here. And uh, for this one, let's go ahead and say uh, visibility, geometry visibility, hide point, and we'll just do a geometry modified topology, delete hidden, and you can just grab any of these shapes here, 